It's another market update time. We're gonna have a look at the. <laughs> We're gonna have a look at US dollar and the Australian dollar. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. Alrighty then, so we have another video for you guys. <laughs> um, I'm loving these videos, absolutely loving these videos. Let's have a quick look at a few line graphs charts and show you what I'm seeing. So US dollar, we're gonna start with US dollar first. US dollar, Australia, uh, the daily chart. One thing you can see here, uh, let me bring up my drawing tools. One thing you can see here is you can see this market broke up here. And we had this high point up here, had sort of this double bottom, lower low, double bottom, made this high peak. Now, the, the, the thing that's happening now is that we're getting this small little pullback through here. Is this a pullback before we get a run to the high side? Well, that's that's very, very tricky to answer because if we have a look at the weekly chart, the weekly line chart, and you have a look at this chart here, are we, are we in the mix? Are we in the mix of, oh, just had to restart my damn software again. Or <laughs> my, my, my software keeps going bang on me, guys. What's going on? All right, um, let me just delete these few lines while I'm here. Man, I think I think my system is about to go kabushka. Kabushka. All right, so let me take all these lines off here, and I just want to share something with you. So, uh, last couple of weeks, I've been sharing with you guys by the look at. Let me just go five here. I've been saying, okay, look, we've had this low peak, low peak, low peak, low peak, higher peak, higher trough, low peak, low peak. This higher trough, higher trough here, guys. For for me, spells more upside. So that's that's the key area there for me. But what is actually happening, if you look at the bigger picture, this may be, oh, come on now. My software guy, <laughs> I'm having, oh, there it goes again. I tell you what, there it goes again. I'm, my software is drawing trend lines all over. Let's go again. <laughs> Oh, my software's gone crazy on me. So let me take everything off the screen here again. And if you look at this overall chart here, is this, a, now it's a high peak, high trough, no doubt about that. But is this whole thing here just a bit of a bare flag? So if I look at my charts here, we, we can see that we've actually got a bit of a support and resistance going on through there, somewhere through there. And is this whole thing just one sort of, say, sort of like a bare flag formation? Is that what we're forming right now? So guys, we need, we need, if the US dollar holds here and breaks below this trough, then yeah, we're going to continue down and pro probably start to get start to get some a lot more downside movement. Because as you can see where it is right now, it's actually hitting this resistance and hitting this resistance. So it looks like the US dollar right now, guys, US dollar right now on this here is hitting this resistance. We're getting this bare flag. So if we pause here and we start to run down like that, we could break out of this, and this could this could be another significant drop like this. This could be a one to two dollar drop. What is that? That's a one to two dollar drop. We're talking like twenty three, exactly where that actually where that arrow went to. Funny enough, that right. So that that's that's what that that's there's a few things there. If we do if we do break above and we get back above this twenty five on the UUP chart, this is UUP. Um, then yeah, then then well I could just continue back up and go off there. But even though we create this high peak, high trough, right now is this a bear flag forming? If it does hold and pause here and break down, I tell you what guys, we're likely to see some movement on the downside. So let's go have a look at the Australian dollar now. Now on the Australian dollar and my software guys, I tell you my oh there it goes again, my software. <laughs> All right, so let's go have a look at. I tell you what, guys, my software right now is ca total capital, total just going capital. Um, it really is. It's just going absolutely nuts. Let's actually blow up this this chart here. Let's go to the weekly chart here for a minute. Now, guys, there's a few things here that's happening here on this uh, a strain dollar weekly chart here. Overall bigger picture here. Now there's two things here that I'm looking at here. I'm trying to see and, and analyzing this current movement and mo um, current movement overall. We had this obviously we had this peak 
lower peak, this higher peak, now higher trough. Now, is this higher trough here a true higher trough? We actually have this bear flag formation and we're getting sort of this weaker bias. We need, we need this Australian dollar chart to break above this 76 line. This FXA, this is the chart I'm looking at, FXA, right now, we need it to break above 76. If that happens and we get break above there and we close high, then we're likely to just continue back up and continue moving on this bottoming, on this bottoming pattern through here. That's what it looks like. So we need this thing to continue high. We need this thing to break up and just continue back up there. But if we don't, guys, we're likely to break down and continue going with this bear flag. It does look like it's holding here. So is the bear, is this is this a bear flag or is this just a continuation pattern we break up? If we break up as above 76, we're going to continue up. If we don't and we continue breaking down, we, we might even break back down towards the lows down here. I don't know, guys. That's that's one thing that, that that's one thing that I'm keeping my eye on on the Australian dollar. So guys, US dollar, is that a bear flag? If we break down, we're likely to continue down and the Australian dollar is probably going to go up from there. Or yeah, um, um, if, if it breaks down and, and the Australian dollar goes up, or either is the is the US dollar just kind of just forming like a basing pattern before we break up and then we continue up. My gut feeling is saying that the US dollar is forming like a bear flag at that resistance level and we're likely to hold there for a little while or maybe short term, one or two days, one or two weeks, I don't know, but then we're likely to break down. And if that's the case, your Australian dollar is likely to break up, break up and we're likely to continue up. I don't know what's going to happen here, guys, but this is what the charts are telling me. It's like a waiting game. It's like, okay, let's see what what, what the market's going to confirm. Are we going to confirm upward movement on the Australian dollar? If that's the case, we're likely to confirm more downward movement on the US dollar. I'm not going to BS you here. Trading is hard. Over my 10 years of trading, I've learned some amazing systems and strategies, and I've put it all in my brand new Grab the Markets by the Balls course, and I'm giving you 100% free access. This whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.